I am going to be doing my subculture on bronies. I was going to do um, shamanism, but that is just, there's so much about shamanism that I decided to narrow it down to a smaller topic. And what, um, what inspired me was this Bob's Burgers episode. I'm a huge fan of Bob's Burgers and Tina loves horses and um, there was this Equestria horse um, convention that she really wanted to go to and um, it happened to be where the, all the, it was just all these guys dressed up at a convention kind of like um, kind of like uh, Comic-Con but um, it was all for this horse pony thing. Well, come to find out that this is, that that was based on an actual thing. Um, there's something out there called bronies, and what it is is um, mostly men. There can be females too, um, and there's females, trans. There's, there's no specific um, gender that you have to be, but most are male ages 18 to 35 and they are um they are educated and they are just huge my little pony fans um before the brony era started there were big fan sites with men for things like barbie but bronies um have been around and have been a very big subculture um, for the past um, 11 years. So there is some stigma that goes with that, um, mostly sexually related. Um, there is a subculture of the subculture um, with, within bronies um, of these people that call themselves cloppers and what they do is um, they are like sexually attracted to uh, to the ponies and they make pornographic vid por pornographic videos but um, so this is what most people think that bronies are but that is not the case that is a small percentage of the brony population and most of the bronies that are not in that little clapper thing really look down on it. So this is really not what it's about. What it is, is something that I actually gained a lot of respect for um, after looking into it. Um, it's a group of guys that really don't see anything wrong with liking My Little Pony and it's acceptable to like the color pink and to like girl things. Um, I, as a mother of a little boy, I think that, um, that that stuff is important. I mean, I'm not going to go dressing him up in my little pony gear, but I will not care if he likes the color pink when, or likes watching my little pony. That's, if he wants to do that, that's what he can do. Um, so yeah, my subculture was bronies. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you.